What's good YouTube? This is your boy Lazar Boscovic and starting with the first video on my new YouTube channel. A lot of people have asked me uh, all sorts of questions about fitness and uh, uh, energy systems and uh, which one starts when, how are they used, um, what are they and whatnot. And here we're going to start explaining them. Now, there are three main energy expenditure systems in human body for producing energy, right? Two of them are anaerobic which means uh, all the chemical reactions in the body are produced without the use of oxygen and the third uh, energy system is called aerobic or oxidative which means they use oxygen in order to produce ATP now what is ATP? ATP stands for adenosine triphosphate the first system or the most powerful one out of the three is called ATP CP slash PC um, whichever you prefer, energy system. So ATP stands for adenosine triphosphate, CP slash PC stands for phosphocreatine or creatine phosphate, right? Now, how does energy happen in you know, our muscles? Every muscle has muscle fibers. Inside of all those muscle fibers, we have two contractile main parts. They're called myofilaments. They're called actin and myosin. Without them, contraction of any muscle in our body would not happen. Now, in uh, the bridges of myosin, uh, is where the ATP and CP are stored, those two molecules. The way human body produces energy or muscle contraction or, or whatnot um, starts with the chemical reactions that include ATP and CP. Now, adenosine triphosphate through hydrolysis is broken down into adenosine, adenosine diphosphate and extra phosphate, right? And, and some energy. For adenosine diphosphate uh, to come back to adenosine triphosphate, we need creatine phosphate. Now, creatine phosphate, through the chemical process called creatine kinase and with the help of enzyme called ATPase, is broken down into creatine and phosphate and thus that phosphate is brought back to the adenosine diphosphate, right, making it adenosine triphosphate. ATP is called the stored energy and ADP is called used energy. And that cycle, chemical cycle of, you know, reactions, happens over and over and over again until all ATP and creatine phosphate are depleted from the muscle fibers, right? Then human body, um, if, if we choose to continue with exercise or physical movement, uh, our body uses the second anaerobic energy system, which is called glycolysis. For glycolysis, we're going to talk more about in the next video. ATP and CP uh, can be restored in our muscles after around two minutes of rest, right, or recovery. Um, which means uh, people who want to train this energy expenditure system in particular are usually weight uh, power lifters, sprinters, right, and other athletes that are doing the similar bouts of energy expenditure in a short term. Why is it the most powerful energy expenditure system? Well, it is because uh, ATP and CP are already stored in our muscles and uh, they're pro they produce the energy the fastest, therefore the most powerful, right? Uh, even though this is the most powerful um, way of energy expenditure in our body, uh, it's the shortest as well. It is the most powerful, but it's also the shortest. And ATP CP energy system lasts around, kicks in in around first 10 to 15 seconds of energy expenditure. So we already explained how ATP and CP works together, making ADP energy and phosphates, and then how creatine phosphate comes back and uh, through creatine kinase and ATPase creates back ATP, and how the cycle goes and how long it lasts. So. In general, this would be the ATP CP energy expenditure system. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please hit the like button and subscribe. Um, it would help you a lot. And thank you so much for sticking with me, guys. I will catch you on the next time. Stay frosty.